Well, Wayne Brown's really making inroads. He's been interviewing all sorts of people, very politicians, prime minister, the ACT party. Chloe Swarbrick? My God, you think they're on the opposite end of the spectrum of the political spectrum. Vaughan, what's your thoughts? Oh, that's understatement of the day, Max. Hey, kia ora, bro. Uh, great to see you, my brother from another mother. Max, <laughs> bro, hear me out with what I have to say here. And what I mean by hear me out is don't you dare interrupt me. Now, Max, <laughs> Chloe Swarbrick, is the one and only politician in Wellington, I believe, that is capable of matching the global star power of Jacinda Ardern and what she has achieved. And here's an example of why I believe that. On Thursday, our Prime Minister quickly visited Auckland to visit the new mayor, Wayne Brown, before heading off to Antarctica for the long weekend. Um, whoop de doo Now, Max, let's get back to Chloe Swarbrick. Straight after the Prime Minister's visit, Chloe meets Wayne Brown and agrees on a bunch of an initiatives to be implemented in the city centre immediately. Now, Max, can you see the distinction here? Look at the difference in outcomes and intent between those two meetings, the Prime Minister and Chloe Swarbrick. All right, so what I love most about Chloe Swarbrick and the Wayne Brown hui, on one hand, you have Wayne Brown, an apparently cantankerous, stale, pale male, born and bred on fossil fuels. And on the other hand, you've got Chloe Swarbrick, a young, funky, saviour of the universe, progressive. Talk about chalk and cheese, Mac, but guess what? They showed us that two people who are diametrically opposed and some of the abuse can still meet on a common ground and make things work. So as far as I'm concerned, Chloe, 10 out of 10 from me. How say you, bro? I do agree. Actually, I understand they both walked up and down K Road together. And then I, I even had a cup of tea, I think, and sat down. I mean, that is the way to do business. Hard and out. plus what yep. they focused on, both of them have a common understanding. That's the good, good for our community. So yep. there's some really good stuff coming out of it. Do you know what? People are saying to me how refreshing Wayne is. He says it as it is. He doesn't take prisoners. And he's really there for the people. He's not yeah. going to obey what, what, what the public servants want. He's going to get stuck in and make it happen. So good on him. Yes, I give Chloe 10 out of 10 for that as well. She's doing a great job in terms of re building up a relationship with Wayne. And yeah. look, she lives, I think, no, her office is just opposite Wayne's home. So uh, they got a lot in common and their interests are the same. I like it, Vaughn. Yeah. Hey, Max, and I, I have to close off with this, you know, and, and seriously, bro, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to know your thoughts. Exactly. What the hell was it that Phil Goff did in his six-year tenure as Auckland Mayor, apart from be a Wellington sock puppet, puppet and pick his nose? Well, there you go. And look at Wayne. He's only been there, what is it, eight days or 10 days now? <laughs> and look, he's made inroads at a phenomenal rate. And this is the new mould for politicians we want. If we can only yeah. translate that into national politics, you know, goodbye all this uh, be nice ca campaign and get in and say, we're there to get things done. Nice. And we're there for the people, not for yeah. our own image, not for our aspirations of working internationally, there for the people. And I think that's the sort of mould we want. Thank you, Wayne Brown.